Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have the multi-published author, Cynthia McGregor. So welcome to the show, Cynthia. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. I'm excited to have you on, Cynthia, and we'll dive in. The first question I have for you, Cynthia, is what's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Well, I don't think it has to do with any of my over 100 published books, actually. I think it has to do with my two TV shows. Getting the first of my two TV shows on the air was a real bear. I tried every local station that I knew of kept getting turned down, finally found a station I hadn't even been aware of, approached them with the concept, the format, the whole proposal, and they said yes. This was after multitudinous turndowns. So the the message, the lesson to take from that is keep trying, don't give up, even when it seems you've exhausted all possibilities, keep going, you can succeed after all. And what's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, there we get back to publishing. The uh, most valuable piece of information I would say is it's easier to get published these days than it used to be. Uh, there are now other ways besides the uh, the big publishers in New York. It's tough to get into the Simon and Schuster's, the Harper Collinses, and so on without an agent, and even with an agent. And it's even tough to get an agent sometimes. But there are now two other avenues that people should be aware of if they want if they are writers one is the boutique publishers these are small publishers that uh, for the most part not entirely but for the most part don't get into bookstores they, their books are available through Amazon.com, through their own websites, through the author's own websites, and in various other places and manners, but you won't mostly get into uh, Barnes & Noble with them. However, you can get your books out there. It is easier to get published, and you don't have to keep facing rejections. The other uh, avenue that's open now is self-publishing, also known as indie publishing. At one time, this was looked down on and called vanity publishing, but it's become respectable. I personally have not self-published, but I have had quite a few books brought out by boutique publishers and don't expect huge sales but you can get your books published, get them out there, get them in front of the readers, make sales. Things are a lot more optimistic than they used to be. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Well, not necessarily industry specific. No, it's not. It also happens to be the title of one of my books, Don't Quit While You're Ahead. You know, the classic advice is quit while you're ahead. I say horse feathers. I say don't quit while you're ahead. I say keep going, reach higher, try to get even more. I say keep on going farther to the top. I say don't quit while you're ahead, whatever business you're in. And no, it doesn't apply just to writing and publishing. It applies to people in business. It applies to what, and not just to in business, but in your personal life too. Every facet, every avenue of your life and every 
career that you might be in. Don't quit while you're ahead. Don't think, well, I finally have succeeded. What's wrong with wanting more? And if you could give yourself, your younger self, one piece of advice, what would that be? Start writing books earlier. I stuck with the short form for way too long because I didn't have the patience to write a whole book and then wait years to see if I could find a publisher. And I didn't have as much faith in myself as I should have. I would <clears throat> pardon me, advise my younger self to start writing books earlier and not just stick with the short form. Imagine I might have 200 books published now instead of just uh, somewhere north of 100. I stopped counting at 100, Tyler. But, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> See, wait, just to clarify, you have over 100 books, right? Right. Okay, got it. Uh, and in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? Finding work that you love. That's an easy question, Tyler. I might be arguably the happiest woman in the world. Why? Because I'm doing something I love. I get up every day looking forward to my work day, looking forward to planting my tushy in my chair at my computer and working, working, working at work that I love. I not only write books, Tyler, but I'm also a freelance writer and editor working for clients, Everything from writing, uh, well, I did a, a, a business, uh, uh, what, I can't think of the word now, uh, oh, crap, a business thing for somebody recently, and uh, I've done ads, I've done uh, blog posts, I've ghost written books, I've edited books written by other people, I'll take on almost anything except grant proposals, which is specialized and I don't do them. And I don't do, um, I don't crib um, term papers and theses for uh, this college students, but I'll take on almost any other kind of writing and editing assignment. And so I write, I edit, and when I'm not immersed in paying gigs like that, I write my own books. I just finished writing a children's picture book. It's Christmas themed. It will be out this Christmas with Crimson Cloak Publishing, one of the boutique publishers to which I referred earlier. And I wrote it in between other assignments. Beautiful. And uh, this will be a great question for you. What's the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Well, you know, I can't honestly mention one best book. Can I tell you who my three favorite writers are? They've each written several books. Yes. Uh, my three favorite writers are Mary Roach, Heather Lendy, and A.K. Turner. It's actually Amanda Turner, but her byline is A.K. Turner. And I guess the best thing I've learned from them is just reading how well they write improves my writing and inspires me to go on, you know? And what's your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is one of my own. If you don't try, you can't succeed. And if you do try, you might surprise yourself. I'm quoting myself, and it's one of my favorite quotes. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. The last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? www.cynthiamacgregor.com. That's, let me spell it for you, C Y N. T H I A M A C G R E G O R www.cynthiamacgregor.com. You can find my books on that site. You can find a contact uh, uh, thing there where you can contact me through email, through the site. You'll find out more about me. That's the best place to get a hold of me online. Awesome. Thank you so much again for coming on, Cynthia. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me, Tyler.
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.